Because of Milton and the Beverly Hills Playhouse, you see, I, uh, I'm enjoying my, uh, my work now. I look forward to what I'm doing. So it was that, that I just uh, needed to get the jobs, and I get the jobs and then be miserable. Now I, uh, I'm enjoying work again, like I used to. The rawness has come back to my work. That there's a part of my work that had dried up, that, that's back now, but it's, it, I, mean, it, I mean, Milton even says himself in, in, uh, in his writing that uh, you know, it takes a couple of years before you really start to become a, understand what he's talking about. So there's this patience that I've, I've been studying here now for seven years, and I, you know, the changes start to happen gradually. And uh, I mean, he even talks about how, you know, don't, you don't need to change all at once. You just start adding things. So as, as these, um, you know, the months and years have gone on, I find that, well, it's a seven year itch, right? Every seven years we're a different person. So I'm a different person now after seven years. So I'm not the same person I was when I started, even biologically. <laughs> but a lot, a lot of that's because of the playhouse. So I can't specifically say what it is that's... I just know how to attack a role, I'm more patient, I'm, my attitude's better, I'm a happy person, I, I play again. It used to talk about acting was playing, you know, to play with people on stage, and I'd stop doing that but I'm back to playing again. Penny Fuller was the person that introduced me to Milton, back in the uh, 70s, actually, that's when right. I first met him. Um, he was, well, he still is. I just was like, who is that guy? Just For years, that. when I'd know Penny, when she started studying with Milton, she would talk about class, and, and I'd never seen, I'd never, I've never, studied with anybody. When I got out of school, I started acting and I didn't think I needed to. I thought I knew everything. Um, but I, I've known Penny since 70 something. So she used to talk about Milton when she started studying with him, about class and she'd worked with that. I knew other people who studied with him. So I'd known about him for a long time. But about seven years ago, I started um, realizing how unhappy I was doing the only thing I knew how to do, which was to act. And I saw Rick Podell at, uh, we, we work out at the same gym. So I just said, could I come to see a class? By some, it just popped into my head. Right. So I came to see a class and realized that um, something was going on that was um, very powerful. Right. So I came to another class which was a lot of scenes that uh, Milton Katsalas had directed here at the Skylight Theater and saw how exciting that was. And then I got a job and went away. And that job was over and I came back to class again. I just knew that there was something exciting here that could get me out of this funk that I was in about uh, um, where I was with my work. Milton's got an insight into people. He's a very wise uh, sage and one of the most generous people I've ever met. And he, uh, and he seems to know with each student. I mean, I, I, I watch him deal with all of us in this wonderful big uh, classroom. Um, and each student, he, he can kind of intuit where, what's up, what kind of a mood each person's in. I see him just look around the room and say, are you all right? And somebody will like, look, yeah, so it's how he deals with uh, each one of us. He seems to know what we personally need. But of course, every class I feel like he's talking directly to me, but then I think we all do. He's an amazing teacher. But the one regret I have is that I didn't uh, find him sooner, or find the Beverly Hills Playhouse sooner, because I've gotten into a lot of uh, habits that I'm as he put it, he's now deprogramming me. So, so that's what I'm learning how to kind of cut out the restrictions of what I put on myself.